Hi everyone, this is a reading with me. I hope you are doing well. If not, I really hope I can help you. This is for all star signs. If you are here, hello and welcome. I feel like it is a message and signs that you are meant to hear and that I am meant to give you these answers. So we'll take a look, see what's coming through. Okay, let's have a look and see. Okay. Right now, I really feel that you are feeling quite all over the place. You might be feeling really anxious, um, unsure about what is to come, unsure about the result of a specific thing in your life, okay? So there is definitely something that you are wondering about where it's not perfectly worked out just yet. You know, you can't really celebrate and be like, that's mine, or this has worked out for me. You are still unsure as to whether it's going to be yours or not, whether it's going to work out for you or not. And you're kind of feeling a little bit all over the place. And it's a little bit stressful because on one hand, you want to try and manifest and you're like, yes, I'm going to have it. I'm going to have it. But you also want to keep your expectations low and then not get disappointed. Because one thing you've realized in time is the more you have an expectation for something and the more you get attached to something, the more it hurts you when it doesn't quite go the way that you want it to. So there's that sort of like two sides energy where you're thinking, I would like this to happen. I'd like this to happen but then also very unsure as to whether it will happen or not and it just confuses you and overwhelms you and then you don't know what is going to happen so that's really what I see here with the two of pentacles just this is it is it not will it work out will it not is this going to take place is it not um, how is this going to happen? How is this going to fare? Is this going to give me joy and happiness or not? And it's just really overwhelming and it's very stressful and you oftentimes feel like you're going to go crazy, which it's just not, it's not great, is it? So let's have a look and see, especially with the Knight of Wands. For many of you, this is an opportunity that you've really, really been very, very drawn to. It's something that you've really wanted. For some of you, it's to do with um, career. For some of you, it's to do with love and romance and your very, very strong feelings towards a person who you've really wanted things to work out with. And with the Eight of Wands, it does show here that things will work out. So that's really, really positive, okay? Um, so things will sway in your favor. Absolutely, that's really positive. You will have to wait just a little bit longer, but remember, I never recommend waiting. I recommend patience, okay? Patience where you are putting that energy and that time towards other things in your life and not completely expending all of your time and energy towards what it is that you want. Remember, the law of attraction works when you know what you want, okay? but you are okay without it, which means put that energy towards something else, channel it towards something else, put this situation on the back burner, in the back of your mind, and just let things naturally progress. I know that you're waiting for things to happen, but the more you wait, the more anxiety, stress, frustration occurs, even though that's not necessarily something that you need to give all of your time and energy towards right now, because like right now, you don't need to put all of that anxiety towards it, right? Because right now is not the time you need to react to it right now is the time for other things because you know it's a little bit like worrying about something that's going to happen in a year's time that's not right now right you're 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 reenacting something in the future so i think that the main thing here is live life right now for yourself and try to detach and relax and as i'm sure many people already know i have lots of rituals on detachment um lots of intention rituals for various different intentions and all of them work with detaching and creating healing and acceptance in your energy so that you can focus on yourself and feel much more uplifted and lighter and brighter so that your intention that you want you want comes together so whatever it is that you are really wanting here um there's probably an intention ritual for it so there's you know rituals for love money success marriage career healing justice um attraction love manifest a specific person break no contact there's so many rituals you know even there's the black magic removal which is different you know protection ritual as well rituals for home and success and all sorts so if you are interested there's lots of rituals on my website including healing ones as well there's also intention items as well by the way which have thousands of five star reviews so lots of people have seen results with those and um, there's bracelets necklaces and clips pom-poms tassels candles sage bundles teas um and lots of people yeah again have seen results with them and there's they are all handmade, meditated with and saged and the review sections at the bottom of my website. And then also on my website, there are personal tarot readings if you wanted me to answer any questions that you have personally. Um, so yeah, everything is always linked down below for your convenience, but this situation works out in your favor. And if you are watching this, it means you've attracted this reading because it's something that you've been thinking about so much. And then literally unexpectedly, 
I feel like you've clicked on this reading and then it's connected you back to that thing that you've wanted, but it's also affirming to you that, listen, this is going to work out for you. This is going to come together for you, but also try not to stress about it. Try not to expend all of your energy, time, resources, emotions towards it. Live life accordingly. This will happen for you. Try to detach, try to relax. It's gonna be okay, okay? It's going to be okay. Three of Cups, you will have a reason to celebrate. So that's obviously very, very positive. This will manifest for you. For many of you, this is going to manifest, this thing that you've wanted is going to manifest within three months of you watching this reading. Okay, so we've also got the Queen of Wands as well, which really is very powerful. This absolutely shows that what it is that you are wanting is also wanting you, but I also feel at the same time that the stronger your energy is, the stronger it comes into your life and it will manifest okay you are not wrong for wanting what you want um, and your intuition is very powerful right your intuition knows that this thing is good for you that this thing can give you happiness and joy whether it's a person or a job opportunity or money or work or a dream home whatever it is that you are really really wanting but not wanting to put all of your hopes and dreams into this particular thing is going to give you positivity happiness joy fulfillment lots of beautiful proactive energies for your future. It will really make you feel very, very good and very happy. And you will not look back from what I am seeing in any way, shape or form because it will manifest for you. It will come together for you and it will give you so much joy and so much happiness and so much fulfillment that you will think to yourself, wow, like this is truly what I have wanted and it comes together for you and just gives you so much happiness. And there we go, okay? King of Wands, the action will get taken to the point where you will have a very clear cut answer in regards to this situation from the situation itself. It will come to you, I believe, within three months and make sure that you are detached, which is the emperor and the king of wands energy. You are relaxed. You are really accepting what you have got in your current moments and having gratitude for what you have got currently going on. And then what you want will absolutely manifest for you and progress for you and give you that joy and happiness and stability that you want. That's absolutely going to happen. Okay. What else can I tell you in this reading? Ace of Wands, King of Cups. Try to control those emotions, not in the sense that you have to like control, control, but try to um, not excessively let your emotions get to a place where you can't control them or you can't, you don't feel good, you know, in your emotions because to feel is a beautiful thing, but anything in excess can be poison, right? So um, that's where healing, meditation, comes into the picture. Knight of Pentacles also shows here that uh, you will feel very, very fulfilled with this thing that you want. The Knight of Pentacles also shows that yes, it's a bit slow. And you know what? You don't always get things exactly when you want it. Things don't always manifest and progress exactly when you want it to, but that's part of life. It's part of how it happens. In life, you don't, you don't always get things when you want them and you don't always get all the things you want. The good news here is that yes, you get this situation work out for you. Yes, it does progress for you in your life. It does give you happiness. It does give you joy. It does give you stability. It's not something that you have to constantly worry and wonder about. It really will give you that peace and pride and joy, but it doesn't always happen when you want it, okay? So try not to feel like the universe is against you just because they haven't given it to you yet. The universe also wants your emotions to be in the correct place and for you to feel the strongest and best that you can within yourself. If you find that this hasn't manifested for you yet, which I feel like it hasn't, it's because the universe still wants you to discover more of yourself, okay? And that's with judgment as well, to create that transformation within yourself, but to discover more of yourself, to feel stronger within yourself and to feel better within yourself. The universe really, really wants that for you and that's something really important to consider is that the universe wants you to feel stronger so worry not and fear not in time everything manifests and progresses in the way that you want it to be because the wheel of fortune is immense success wealth um, progress, happiness, the wheel of fortune is everything that you want in your life actually manifesting for you in the way that you want it to be and having this immense amount of success and fulfillment in your life, which again is this energy and uh, you will not look back. Um, right now is the time for meditation, relaxation, peace, um, also acceptance and being content with what you have got right now and gratitude and that allows your mind to open up, your soul to open up, but also you start to receive much more abundance than just this one thing that you want. You will start to find more peace, happiness, joy in your life. 
Okay, so four of pentacles here as well really shows that in four months time, I feel like you will be in a place where you are just so much happier because within three months, this thing happens for you, right? That you've always wanted. And so in four months time, you will feel very happy, very stable, very content. You will have got the abundance that you wanted, but you'll also feel very at peace within yourself and um, very, very you know, Hierophant literally is about someone that's sort of got all of those areas together, whether it's material or whether it's not, you know, it's, it's, um, it's just about feeling very balanced, very relaxed and very fixed in that sense and, um, very stable. And that's what we have. So this is your reading. Um, if this resonates with you, let me know in the comment section below. And also if you claim it as well, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe. Check out the description box below for information on personal services, readings, items. Like I mentioned, detachment is the key. So all of the rituals that I help work with detachment, but there's also the intention items and there's also personal readings as well. And there's also, um, as well, I just wanted to mention... Um, there's da, 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 Instagram and TikTok. There we go. I got there in the end. <laughs> I post short readings on there every single day. So if you want to follow me on there, feel free to do so. Moonlight.guidance on Instagram, Moonlight Guidance on TikTok, and I'll see you all very soon. Bye.